Once you've decided you meet both applicant and commodity eligibility requirements, you can submit an application for CFAP2 assistance. Producers can apply until December 11th, 2020. However, we encourage you to submit your application as soon as possible to ensure that sufficient funds remain. Producers have the option to complete their application online through the CFAP2 application portal or by working directly with their local Farm Service Agency office. Visit farmers.gov slash CFAP slash apply to either complete the application online, download a paper version of the application, or to find the contact information for your local FSA county office to set up an in-person or phone appointment. Farmers who are new to FSA or CFAP can also call the USDA producer hotline at 877-508-8364 or contact their local FSA office with any questions about how to complete the application. In addition to the application specific to CFAP2, which is Form AD3117, farmers will need to compile and submit additional forms and records. The following is a list of forms farmers may be required to fill out. However, some forms only need to be completed depending on a farmer's individual situation or commodity. Although this may seem like an extensive or time-consuming list of forms to complete, farmers who have worked with FSA in the past or who applied for CFAP1 will likely already have this information on file. And for farmers who are new to FSA, your local county office is there to help you complete the right forms for your situation correctly and as easily as possible. Do you need a farm number to apply? Fortunately, you do not need a farm number in order to apply for CFAP2. However, some commodities that fall under the price trigger or flat rate categories require producers to submit a report of acreage form with their application. This form, FSA 578, requires a farm number. However, producers can work with their local county offices to submit their CFAP2 application with the intent to sign up for a farm number within 60 days. What sort of production or sales documentation is required? To complete the CFAP2 application, farmers will need to reference and report on their production, inventory, or sales records. However, CFAP2 is a self-certification program, meaning that no sales or inventory documentation is required to submit the CFAP2 application. That said, applications are subject to county committee review and spot check, so a farmer must be able to substantiate their amounts and should keep all documentation on file for three years in the event they need to provide it. Examples of supporting documentation include things like receipts, ledgers of income, veterinarian records, invoices for custom harvesting, or contemporaneous measurements and diaries. To get your CFAP2 application started, head to farmers.gov slash CFAP slash apply to access the application portal or to download the application. And if you have additional questions about CFAP2 or need assistance with your application, we encourage you to call the RAFI USA hotline toll-free at 866-586-6746.